What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. You open a certain amount of cases and you're gonna be able to destroy the variants of a set and show the pulls. And this time, it's really confusing to see the case ratios for Cybernetic Horizon. And Konami is pushed a little further than just the secret rares, and the ultra rares seem to have three different tiers of pull rates. Now, these are Euro print, but if we're following from the same last time, then it's going to transfer over to the USA. And if I get information that the USA pull rates are different later, I'll go ahead and present that. I get a bit of flack for doing these videos, and I'm just trying to present the information to you guys of something that actually happened. John Moore, there's no way Ash Blossom was short print in Ky Kaiba's collection, really? That's why it still has a uh, really huge price point? Hmm, okay. Just because I pulled this one card. Okay, so to be clear, this is out of sealed boxes. This is not sneak kit ratios. This is not pulling at regional slash judge pack ratios or special edition ratios. This is the ratios you would get out of boxes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Boral Sword, you're getting about two out of an entire case instead of the regular three. Same with Bigfoot and Nessie. The rest of them, you have a bit of a better chance. So the short print there isn't necessarily as bad, but what's really interesting about the Ultras, we see Chupacabra is about the same pull rate as Secret Rares, and Jackalope is is even harder to get than a normal secret rare that's actually pretty concerning and cyber dragon seeger is actually about as hard to get as a secret rare and then we kind of get into several tiers let me give you the actual picture of 100 cases john source john sauce john source here's the actual different tiers from 100 cases of their pulls and it's pretty darn interesting to see, right? You, you're actually able to relatively easy get the Cyber Dragon Effect monster, but the Link monster is extremely hard to pull, which you would naturally maybe want less of. But now the Cryptids, the Cryptids are hard to find. And something Konami could have just simply done in an article for me is, is said something like, since they're cryptids, they'll be harder to find in your packs or something silly, right? Like, you could have actually tied a story to the dangers, a TCG exclusive, hyped archetype, and like, worked it in directly telling people that you were going to do that. And I think that information would have been pretty exciting. You don't have to secretly do this to sell your product. Like, but they... They just kind of don't give us that communication level, and we have to figure it out ourselves this way. Now, the middle tier is also pretty interesting, but I don't think it's too effective towards us. Like, the Dragoonity Synchro, okay. The Noble Knight Xyz, okay. The, the Ritual for Cyverse, basically their version of Dark Magician, which it is, by the way. 2500 slash 2000 is what every ace monster went to after the dark magician that missing 100 defense it's still dark magician-esque and that's why it has so many tricks on its effects and then we have our palladion paladion whatever crusader whatever you want to call him there and then the other danger cards the ones uh the trap is actually surprisingly easy to get i i would have thought that would have you know been in the slot that the cyber dragon's in and then the field spell is easy to get so we go back to our ratios here and we kind of digest this and I feel two types of way. I'm putting this video out as fast as possible, so I'm not able to fully digest my own feelings here, so I'm getting them out. I don't want to bullshit you guys. Like, I just want to say what I think. And my first thought is Konami doesn't need to short print to sell sets. We've seen cards very much recently become worth the price of the pack without short printing, but I suppose in these last two sets there wasn't as much that was exciting and maybe it needed like would impermanence be worth the value of a box I, I think a successful box has one card where if you open it you pull the full value of what you spent right and you're usually able to get boxes for around 60 dollars from vendors online so impermanence needed to be shorter printed to maybe achieve that however we go to other sets and we see cards created like borlo dragon that didn't initially do it but later did evenly matched 
we see a lot of recent sets that have these cards code of the duelist failed to do that but over time firewall eventually went up then it got limited and was still went back up despite that again i don't think you needed to short boral sword to make it worth the product i think that it would have eventually gotten there and sold your product for you i think boral sword by itself could have pulled this whole set and then the danger archetype was very exciting for a lot of duels i've been play testing it with the sky strikers the similar to kind of how billy had been describing how to test it and i personally really enjoy danger and it's something i specifically if i had to would have opened product for to get i think mech knight and morning star is great highly underestimated it's just really interesting to me that they feel the need to do this and it, it's a calculated move this isn't like a printing error at this point i believe like you specifically cannot get a playset of the danger cards on average opening a case it's possible but on average less than half of the cases will have a playset of bigfoot or nasty that's a little alarming two boral sword per case it's a boss monster it's a one of an extra decks i don't think it still needed to happen because almost every single player is going to want one but i can kind of see why they would choose it as a one of but one ofs keep getting really expensive throughout our newer uh Yu-Gi-Oh since we got the new ratios such as Boralode, like surpassing expectations uh, starting with crystal wing i suppose more recently <sighs> so I feel like it has to be a move to make people want to open more product to get these things. Now, the part of me that defends this, the secondary market John that used to buy and sell cards for a living, these cards will hold better value long time, and Danger has a lot of upward potential and hype, and the lower quantities will make this set more desirable as time goes on as we head towards better, or hopefully more, Danger cards that's what i like to see if i'm like trying to invest in the game or have my cards be worth value that danger can likely only get better and it's almost there from the start which only burning abyss really had it from the start with their their uh what they have skarm graph seer and dante it's very similar to that it's almost there but Shadol's was just a little bit better on its own at that point. And then the next wave was just enough to start really hitting it. I, I feel very similar in that aspect for Danger. And it being shorter print means over time it'll go up and this set's value will rise over time. But of course the Megatons eventually squash that. But for a year of it, being able to hold on to this deck and have value, feels good man for a bit. Now the proper john here the john the people's champ john wants every single person to be able to play what they want and every single person to have access to cards with a realistic budget and of course this hinders that terribly but Yu Gi Oh's never really been that game it's never been you know it's not pay to win it's pay to play but i don't think short printing is needed here to make these cards sell the set the danger cards i think the danger cards could sell the set without being shorter printed and uh definitely short printed on the ultras when you have an ultra that's the same uh pull rate as a secret i'm gonna call that straight up a short print no clickbait that's that's definitely a short print three a play set per case on average Ooh, uh, a little more like 3.4 okay like it's still just really really awkward to see an ultra with secret rare pull rates and i don't know how the prices are going to develop from that i don't know uh you know we already have the danger secrets that are shorter printed and then you have these danger cards that are an average secret what will that do to their price long term i personally don't know besides it feels like they would go up but all four of the danger monsters are really really good and again it can only go up from there but what do you guys think i'm gonna pass this one on to you guys do you feel like konami should have like snuck that into an article like i think or just been straight up about it like you could have made a cute little pun about them being cryptids and being harder to find like i think that's a good way to like kind of jab with the players and you might get a groan out of it but at least that's forward communication that we can have with you and i want to open that dialogue and door 
and i don't think it's necessarily a terrible thing as long as it's more transparent but again i do want everybody to be able to play the deck they want and danger is very exciting to a lot of people so seeing this might have a few heart sink and like um, uh, some will go, I'm preparing their wallet. Some will go, I'm stepping away from this. I'm not going to probably play this one. Uh, and moving towards each set, that does also mean these cards will be bought out easier as hype floats around. Oh, here's some new danger pictures. It could be amazing. Every single time that happens now, the dangers will be an easier target because there's way less of them on the market than any other card out of this set. <sighs> I'm still torn here. But overall, I think it's a bad move to short print these cards. I think that you didn't have to do this to sell this particular set, even though there's less of it. I would have just put a, one of the Brains Pack really good imports. Like, even if you just did the Aromage, I think people would have been really happy with getting the Aromage. Not necessarily Burning Abyss or Needle Fiber only. Like, the Aromage would have been perfect to slip on in here, even at a, at a higher rarity. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video and the conversation, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And subscribe if you haven't already.